Hey there, this is Noah Lerner again. I wanted to share some more information on data pipelining with you. So we recently re released a couple videos teaching you how to build cloud functions and cloud task queue driven data pipeline. Uh, the next step is to figure out <clears throat> how to manage all the tables that go into the database. In that video, we showed you the schema for how to construct one of the tables. But how do you do this like for a whole agency or an organization that might have tons of different website domains? Uh, for me, here's a, here's a look at how you could do it using AppScript and Google Sheets interacting directly with the, the BigQuery API. For this tool that we built, it's got a couple pieces of functionality. It's got custom custom functions, one of which is called Get Sites. And this functionality allows us to talk to our Google Search Console implementation so that we can pull in all of the sites that are associated with our email address. Um, we can then uh, select whichever ones we want to add to the pipeline because um, we might have some that are primary domains and some that are not primary domains. So you can select them by individually checking. You can also drag, select them all, hit the space bar, and it'll check them. We've got another custom function that'll take these website names, and it will um, do some string manipulation so that it turns it into a nice BigQuery-friendly table. It deals with both chopping out like the protocol and www's, and also like the um, the domain part of the string as well, which is pretty cool. And then for Search Console, uh, there are optional metrics. Excuse me, optional dimensions that people like to pull in. Some people do, and some people don't like to have country as an optional metric. Some people do and don't have have like to have device, and so we can just select which of the sites get which opt optional dimensions, and this is where the magic happens. Let's swing over to BigQuery for a second. What you'll notice if I hit the refresh button is that we only have two data sets inside BigQuery, and then when I and I'm only showing you that so that I can show you how fast everything is to make. So I'm going to make a new data set. I'm giving it a three-letter name. Hitting create. It's called GSP. You can see my data set there. And then when I swing back over to Sheets, and I hit pipeline. Oh, actually, I'll show you this first. I'll hit refresh just so you can see that the data set is, in fact, empty. Opening these up, you can see there's nothing in there. So I'm going to go pipeline, push tables to BigQuery. And then we'll notice over here on the right that as each table gets built in BigQuery, we get some feedback in our Google Sheet. And then I'll swing back over to BigQuery, hit refresh right about now, now that it's done and then I've got all my tables. And then what that means by checking these optional metrics, I could swing to this table name over here, and what we'll see is that my optional metrics, my optional dimension of device is pulled in, but country is not. I hope you dig this, and I'll update soon with another short video about how this tool also adds each of these to a client's table at the same time as we're building the tables in BigQuery. And that's the next step.